It is a fantastical tale of a shipwrecked Indian boy who finds himself stranded on a lifeboat with an array of wild animals who perish, leaving him with a Bengal tiger called Richard Parker. And today, in that boat, the tiger greets its literary creator, Jan Martel. Here comes your tiger. Oh, wow. Uh, hello, uh, Richard Parker. I'm your father. <laughs> you don't touch me. Touch her. <laughs> Alongside him, Lolita Chakrabarty, the award-winning playwright who's adapted his story for the stage. It's not the first adaptation. Ten years after Martel won the Booker Prize for the novel, it became an Oscar-winning film. But the stage transition, which began its life at the Sheffield Crucible Theatre before reaching the West End now, has been particularly rewarding. It takes so expensive to make a movie. They get kind of controlling, so I had very little input in the movie. But I thought, this one, you know, theatre, the words are more important. The visuals are so important in a, in a movie. In a theatre, the words are very important. And so I was a little bit wanted, and I'm very glad how Lolita, cons you know, we, 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 I don't want to say we didn't collaborate. She wrote it. But I'm very glad that she let me sort of read the various drafts and have my little suggestions. The groundbreaking use of life-sized puppets in the National Theatre's War Horse in 2007 opened up a world of possibilities for the stage. Some veterans of that production are working on this, making the writer's visions come to life. Of course, key to the whole of this is the animals. I mean, how would you portray a tiger on stage? We did joke about a onesie, an actor in a onesie, <laughs> but I don't think it would have had the impact. Every single animal was the fish or a turtle or the goat or the tiger, or the hyena. They studied so well the movements of the animal, obviously especially the tiger. And they were also making the sounds too, the animals make noises. I love how that all came together so beautifully. I mean, there are three people in the puppet and uh, if you just see them working, you see three puppeteers, uh, but they disappear within mm. the personality of the mm. puppet. So that, and they breathe together. These three actors breathe together in order to make the puppet live. It's a really beautiful thing to watch. It is, yeah. It's the aim is to transport the audience at a time when we all perhaps need some escapism. Nina Nanar, News at 10.